Hey y'all, today I'm trying out a new recipe I saw online the other day. Um, it's from Baking with Josh and Ange, which if you haven't heard of them, it's Angela from the office and her husband. Um, they have this whole baking channel along with a website and a blog that they put together full of these great recipes that you can try. And they shared on Instagram the other day a um, applesauce bread with a maple glaze. And I thought it looked really fun, really easy, so I'm gonna give it a try. Um, if you want to see a list of all the ingredients I'm using, as well as measurements and the full recipe, courtesy of Baking with Josh and Ange, you can find that in the description below on my blog. But for now, I'm going to get started baking. Okay, so it looks like we need um, three-fourths a cup of whole wheat flour, one cup of all-purpose flour, a fourth a cup of brown sugar, and then I've already mixed together um, the cinnamon, nutmeg, um, baking powder, and baking soda. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and measure out the flours and the brown sugar, and then I will be right back. dry ingredients minus the granulated sugar um, mixed together in this bowl. So I'm going to whisk them up and then we'll move on to the wet ingredients. Okay, so I whisked together my dry ingredients put them aside back there. Now we're moving on to the wet part of the batter. So I'm going to take um, one cup of granulated sugar and half a cup of vegetable oil and two eggs and we're going to whisk that all together until it's smooth. mixture all nice and smooth. Um, I'm going to add the rest of the wet ingredients. We have applesauce, we have vanilla, and then um, the recipe calls for sour cream, but personally we don't really use sour cream a lot in my household. Um, my husband's not a big fan of it. I don't really care one way or the other for it. So um, one thing we do use a lot, or one thing I use a lot, is Greek yogurt. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of that YouTuber view for y'all. This is the Chobani Less Sugar Greek Yogurt, Madagascar Vanilla and Cinnamon. Um, I already had this on hand because I like this Greek yogurt, so um, I know that Greek yogurt can be a good substitute in other recipes for sour cream. So I'm going to try this out um, in this recipe. If it butchers everything, that's my bad. I'll let y'all know. Together the wet ingredients. 
Now it's time to add the dry ones to our wet mixture. I'm gonna do that gradually just to make sure that there is no clumping whenever I'm um, adding those two components together. Um, also, an important thing to note is the recipe did say to only mix the um, dry and the wet ingredients together until they're fully incorporated and make sure to not over mix this. So if you're following along at home, that's one thing that I would encourage you to take note of. Um, make sure to not over mix the ingredients, just mix them together until they're fully incorporated. our batter is all mixed together. So I'm going to go ahead and separate this batter evenly into my baking tins. Now disclaimer, these tins are 5 point something by 3 point something. Um, the recipe calls for 6 by 3s, so I figured this was close enough. Um, I have an extra tin just in case we have some overflow, but um, you're going to want to spray these with a non-stick spray before you add your batter to them. So I'm going to divide the batter between my tins and I'll check back in with y'all. My applesauce bread is in the oven, so I'm gonna let that bake for about 30 to 35 minutes. After I take it out and cool it, I'll come back and make that maple glaze. So I will check in with y'all then. Quite a bit of time has passed. Um, I let the bread bake in the oven for, for about 30 minutes, and then I let them cool on the countertop for another 30 minutes. Um, just to make sure that the tops of the bread were cool enough for the glaze to go on without melting or getting soaked up or anything like that but I'm really happy with how they turned out. Look at that. They're nice and golden. They rose beautifully. They smell amazing. Yeah, I'm really pleased with these. Um, I'm hoping they taste as good as they look, but now that that bread part of the recipe is done, we're gonna move on to the maple glaze. So I have 100% um, real maple syrup, powdered sugar, and then I have some milk. So what I'm gonna do is Combine the maple syrup and the powdered sugar in the bowl, and then I'm going to add the milk about half a teaspoon at a time um, until I have the thickness that I want for my glaze.
Okay, our glaze is done. Um, I only ended up using about half of the milk the recipe called for before I got to a consistency that I liked, but it's this really, really pretty goldeny color. Um, and I think it's gonna go great on top of the bread. So now all that's left to do is drizzle this glaze on top. Let me see if I can do a close-up drizzle without spilling this everywhere. Oh, a little bit of spilling, that's okay. Man, look at that. Not the prettiest drizzler, but I think that is going to taste really good at least. I'm trying to make sure that I get enough glaze on it so you get to taste it with every bite. Let's see. That should do it. Look at that. This looks amazing. Um, I'm really, really excited to try it. I'm going to finish glazing the rest of my breads and then I will hop back on to show you the finished result. Y'all, I was so excited about trying this bread that I went ahead and made myself a cup of hot cinnamon spice tea to go along with it. Shout out to Harney and Sons, if you ever want to sponsor me, I would not be upset. Okay, but now we're gonna go ahead and try this bread. So I'm guessing if you waited um, a little bit longer or put the bread in the fridge, um, the glaze would probably set a little bit better, but I'm impatient, I'm not gonna wait for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dig right in with a fork. Look at that, y'all. This looks really good. Okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is good. This is really good. I could eat this whole thing by myself. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's nice and soft and moist, you can taste the spices. Um, that maple on top is a nice little accent to the whole flavor. It's not too sweet though, like it's it's not something that you're gonna take one bite and feel, oh, this is too rich, I gotta stop. This is something that you could you know, eat for breakfast, which is probably what I'm gonna do for the next few days. But yeah, Let's see if I can get another little scoop right here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well done, Josh and Angela. This is a fantastic recipe. I would definitely re recommend it. It's super easy. Um, I know a lot of times with baking, um, it can be, get easy for it to get complicated and have a lot of steps, but this was really easy to make. It was really fun to make too. And this is such a great fall treat to have. So I highly recommend this to anyone looking for something new to make for fall that's maybe not pumpkin themed because everything's pumpkin themed right now. Yeah, this great alternative, really great, really easy. Mm. 10 out of 10. So good. That about does it for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this bread. I had a lot of fun eating this bread. Um, if you wanna try this recipe for yourself, the link will be in the description below. You can check out that recipe along with a lot of other recipes I have. Um, if there's anything you'd like me to try, just let me know. Let me know in the comments, let me know on my blog, wherever, I'm happy to take requests. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.